Let's imagine you're in a relationship with a beautiful girl, but you're spending all your time in FL Studio and there's no space for her anymore. Well, then she will leave you and you'll end up drifting around in nothingness. Okay, that's a bit dramatic, but the same thing actually happens to your beats. You have to make sure that the artist has enough space to lay down some vocals and if he or she doesn't, your beat will also drift around somewhere on the internet, never to be discovered. But we're gonna make sure that that never happens. So step one, don't overcomplicate your melodies. I know we're all guilty of that, but sometimes a simple melody is all you need. First, open up FL Keys for a standard piano and in a piano roll, you need to find the scale you wanna work in. This depends on the type of beat, of course. From the menu on the top left, make sure the scale is set to minor. Then choose your scale from the list and you can always change it afterwards. Once that's done, you can create a melody on the highlighted notes. Create a simple bass pattern like this and then build a chord with these notes. Simply skip over one highlighted note every time. Okay, that's a great foundation for the melody, but all that's left to do is add a melodic pattern on top. That sounds beautiful, but if you start adding other instruments on top, this will become busy really quick. So something you can do is select the second note of every chord and press Ctrl X on your keyboard. Then open up the Flex plugin and find a sound you like. Go to the piano roll and paste the notes of the chords there. You can always transpose it one octave up or down, it's whatever you like. Now, instead of adding more melodic elements, you can take the top melody of the piano and let another VST instrument play that instead. Now we have three different instruments playing at the same time, but it doesn't sound extremely busy. So the melody we just made is really beautiful. That is because we kind of went for a emotional chord progression. But here's one of the biggest mistakes you see beat makers make, and that is always using chords. Sometimes a simple and repetitive melody is more than enough. Look at Cardi B for example. Her beats are probably made in 10 minutes or something, and you can do the same. The most important elements in these type of beats are the drums. This is an old beat of mine. I couldn't find the project file, but I did find the stems. These are all the drum layers. And this one is the melody. It's just a simple Cardi B piano melody. This beat altogether is basically a simple drum pattern and I sold quite a few licenses of it. And that is because there's a lot of space for vocals. I tried adding another melody real quick and as you can hear, this will remove all the space for the vocals and basically ruin it. Sometimes you can fix this with an EQ by removing some frequencies of the sound to make more space in general. You can cut away the lows, that's something you should always do. And if that doesn't get the job done, try to cut some of the highs and see what it does. This is different for every beat, but if you still think it's too much, simply remove the layer, because if it already sounds too much without a vocal, imagine what it would sound like if someone started rapping on it. Now, when you make a beat with simple melodies like this, the beat itself will quickly become boring. And that is also a good reason for a rapper to skip your beat and throw it in the trash. Now, we can fix that but there's no need to add extra melodies to it. But what you can do is copy some of the elements and change them up. Right click on the little piano icon and click make unique. Now all the changes made in this layer will stay inside this layer. Change some subtle things like putting the melody one octave lower or cut out some of the notes. Once you're done you have two versions of the same melody and that will keep the rapper interested. So playing around with automation clips and effects can also be really really powerful. Let's say you want to add a reverb to your melody for the intro of the beat. Once the reverb is open, set the drive mix to zero and the wet mix to 800. I like to mix it down with this knob. Right click it and choose create automation clip. Now it will appear here in the playlist. The higher you drag this line, the more reverb the melody will receive. Right click to create more points. This will give you more control over the reverb. By creating a shape like this, you give the melody a lot of reverb in the intro. But as soon as the drum set, the reverb will be cut away. But it does keep the rapper interested without giving up space. Now you didn't even change a single thing in the melody. but it does keep the rapper interested without giving up space for his vocals. You see, you don't have to create 10 layers of different melodies to keep it interesting. Now that we have a simple beat, we have to make sure it's ready for the rapper. And we can do that, and we can do that by mixing it all together. If you want to learn how to do that, definitely check out this video right here, where I will teach you everything about that. Gotta go now, goodbye.